Hello again and welcome to episode 25 of Simply Electronics Basics. Today, in front of me, I have a potentiometer. Now before we go ahead, I will definitely make sure that you understand what a resistor is and how they can be used within a circuit. If they don't appear on screen, you can find the links to those videos in the description. But today we're going to be looking at potentiometers and potentiometers are basically uh, variable resistors. And we're going to take a look at how they work. You know, looking at a, a, a standard resistor, uh, the symbol for a resistor is just that, and it will have a certain resistance. Okay, perhaps we'll say that this resistor will have a resistance of 10 kilo ohms. Okay, so 10,000 ohms. And that resistor, that resistance is fixed. If we want to change the resistance, we have to change the resistor itself. We have to get a different value resistor. And that's where potentiometers come in useful. Potentiometers allow us to change the resistance just by turning a dial, which alters the resistance between two connections on the potentiometer. So I'll go ahead and draw what's inside this potentiometer, because you can see there are three different connecting points. They can be connected in different configurations. The main configuration being uh, just a variable resistor to uh, change the resistance through two connections in the potentiometer, so in and out. Or you could use it as a voltage divider, um, but we won't get into that just yet. So let's draw the inside of a potentiometer. So at the moment we have three pins coming from our potentiometer, okay? We then have of course the circle and then obviously we have our dial that we can turn which will be somewhere in the middle so what we actually have is a strip of metal that runs around the potentiometer like this so there's our strip of metal inside the potentiometer so we can't see it in there but that's what it's like in there there's a strip of metal and this dial what it does when we turn it, is it runs what we call a wiper across that strip of metal. Coming from here, we have a wiper. So if our wiper was set around the middle of that strip of wire inside the potentiometer, and we measured between this leg and this leg, then we would get the resistance between here and where the wiper contacts the metal. So we'd be measuring the resistance from here to here. If the wiper was situated over here, we would be measuring the resistance from this leg to this leg, or if we decided to measure it from this side, we would be measuring from this leg to here. Or, in fact, if the wiper is there, we'd be measuring from this leg to here. And I'll actually go ahead and demonstrate that by connecting a multimeter up and showing you the result of it. And what I'm going to do, the middle pin on this particular one, and most other potentiometers, the middle pin is generally the wiper. So I'm going to connect one side of my multimeter to the wiper, and just choose another side of the potentiometer. So the potentiometer is turned all the way to one side at the minute, and it just so happens that between the wiper and the other connection, we have zero ohms. So we know the wiper, in this case, is pretty much there. Yeah, so we're measuring between here and here, so there's practically no resistance. Now watch what happens when I go ahead and turn this potentiometer. You can see that as I turn it slowly, the resistance is increasing. Now this is, my multimeter is showing this in kilo ohms. So at the moment we're at 2.8 kilo ohms. And we can keep going up until the highest resistance we can reach on this potentiometer, which happens to be about, be about 8.5 kilo ohms or, or 8.5 kilo ohms. So now what's happening is we're measuring 8.5 kilo ohms between this point and this point. And what that means is on this drawing, we're measuring the entire resistance of this metal strip because the wiper is now over on this side and we're measuring across this point and this point and because the wiper is set here, then this point is obviously where the wiper is. It's as if we were measuring between this point and this point. So 
what would you need to use a potentiometer for? They're used in many circuits um, to be able to adjust the speed of a motor or the loudness of music coming out of an amplifier system. Or in other cases, you generally get your smaller type potentiometers that allow you to make fine adjustments within a circuit to properly tune, uh, say, a voltage divider circuit. And if you go ahead and look back at the video about voltage dividers, which will also be in the description, then I definitely make sure that you can go ahead and understand voltage dividers because potentiometers can also be used as voltage dividers essentially acting like two resistors to divide the voltage across them. So I will do more videos on the practical uses of potentiometers, but obviously the Electronics Basics series is all about keeping basic, and I will do videos in the future demonstrating different uses of potentiometers. So hopefully that filled you in on the basics. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos. I have a large playlist of episodes that you can go back and view right from the beginning, which will be really useful, especially if you're quite new to electronics. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment below if you have any questions.